If you are dreaming of becoming a Google software engineer in three months, you are in the right place. Pang is a dream come true for millions of people across the globe. I remember when I was first starting out, I had no idea what to do and I was completely lost. And I don't want you to feel that way. So today, I'm going to share a step-by-step, -step, week by week roadmap to help you get Google ready in three months, especially if you're starting from scratch. And let's be real, the job market is more competitive than ever. Every year, Google gets over 2 million applications, but only a few thousand get in. What sets them apart is not just talent, it's the right skills, consistency, and a smart strategy. And yes, you can do it. Even if you're not from a fancy college or don't have a fancy degree, Google does not look at all of that. So I'll show you how. Month one is all about building your foundation. Week one, pick one programming language, either C++, Java, or Python. I prefer Python because it is easy to learn if you're new to coding. And learn all the syntax, basic data types, all the basics of the language, OOP concepts, functions, loops, etc. from this video. And revise and practice the concepts that you learn from Geeks for Geeks Python tutorials for week one. Week two, start diving into data structures. There's the basic ones, linked lists, array, strings. I learned from this playlist by Apna College and I used Geeks for Geeks to practice these basic concepts using the basic easy and medium problems from Geeks for Geeks. Week three, start focusing on more basic data structures like stacks, queues, hash maps, and sets. I learned it from this Abdul Bari playlist and mainly concepts on algorithms and data structures, the very basic ones, ON, ON square, time complexity, etc. And I backed it up with this Apna College playlist and practice five to 10 problems regularly on lead code and interview pitch right now on old topics and new topics. One easy to medium problem in online assessment coding rounds as well as an interview is always asked from these data structures. Week four is about basics of trees. These includes inverting a binary tree, doing manipulations with binary trees, etc. And I learned trees from this amazing playlist and I would recommend all of you to follow this. It's also very important to revise and review all topics so far. Start appearing for lead code contests at this time. You won't be able to solve many problems, obviously, but you will be able to solve at least two problems in each lead code contest. Time-bound contests are very, very important for all online assessments or coding round interviews because you only get 45 minutes to one hour to solve a problem and do the follow-up and code it up and everything. Okay, so these are all just easy tire basic problems that we have done so far. And this is very important because one question in coding interview, easy to medium problem is always based on these topics. So if you are able to solve all these problems and you're able to complete all the problems from lead code and code forces on this topic, filter by this topic, then you are ready for the interview. At least one to two question you will be able to solve in an interview. Now, before we jump into month two, let's talk about something that can supercharge your journey, especially if you're worried about placements or want a guaranteed way to start your career. I know a lot of you are skeptical about online courses. I was too. That's why I did my research, checked and student reviews and found something special the Intern Shala Full Stack Development Placement Course. Look at these reviews. Real students, real reviews. What makes this course different from all the other useless courses online? Placement assistance, that is internship or job depending on the course. Second, course full fee refund if you're not placed within six months. Third, industry level projects, dual certifications, Intern Shala trainings plus NSTC, Skill India. Fourth, full placement assistance, mock interviews, CV help, soft skills. Lastly, beginner friendly and no prior coding is needed. You will get live and recorded sessions, masterclass and a supportive community. If you miss a live class, you can always catch up. And the best part is you're not alone. There are mentors and placement team to guide you on every step. If you're serious about getting job ready, check out the link in description or the pinned comment. I genuinely found these reviews helpful and I think you will too. Let's get back to the roadmap now. Month 2, week 5. This is all about solving greedy and dynamic programming problems. One question in coding interviews are always based on these two topics. I recommend this playlist for learning the entire concept and this playlist for visualizations. They're extremely good and will help you to understand easily. And main patterns include knapsack problems, coin change, uh, longest increasing subsequence, longest common subsequence, etc. Definitely practice from Geeks for Geeks, basic, easy and medium problems. I always do that when I'm revising as well. And these problems are a bit tricky, so I recommend you to practice 5 to 10 problems from lead code or code forces or Geeks for Geeks every single day for the entire week or the entire month from now on till the end. Week 6 is about focusing on binary search. It might seem easy to you, but it's actually not. Sorting, binary search, these things can be made tricky and it's often made tricky in many of the interviews. It's optional. It's not always present, but when it's present, it's subtle so that you will not be able to understand it thoroughly. Best way to understand this is to use this need code playlist for any kind of doubts you have for any kind of problems that you are solving on need code. 
and best way to filter by this topic binary search on code process and lead code and to solve all the problems around 30 to 35 problems on this topic should be good enough week 7 is all about graphs one medium to hard problem is always asked on this topic either in coding interviews or in online assessment i recommend this youtube playlist for understanding the entire concept and also back it up, back it up with apna college playlist need code playlist Three blue, one brown for understanding all the concepts. Main patterns here include BFS, DFS, regression, backtracking, etc. And definitely practice explaining all these graphs, all these paths, everything with the help of a mirror because you will be able to need to explain your code to the interviewer and you need to have good explaining skills as well. Now comes week eight, the last week of month two, just devoted for practicing and revising all the concepts that you have learned so far. Best ways to solve previous year questions, PYQs as we call it. And the best way is to solve it based on company from interview bit. It has loads of problems. Coding Ninjas is also an amazing platform and lead code interview bit Coding Ninjas. Spice it up a little bit and solve 15 to 20 to 30 problems daily. One important trick I would like to tell you is that when you are stuck at solving a problem, give it at least 45 minutes to one hour before looking at the solution. After 45 minutes to one hour, look at your first hint and if you're still not able to get it, then see the solution and then try to upsolve it a few days later if you were unable to solve it and you had to look at the solution at the time. Now comes month three. Month three is all about building amazing projects for your resume, revising everything and building your behavioral skills. You need amazing stellar web development projects in your resume to stand out. Best way to do this is to use educative.io to learn all the concepts. They have Node.js projects, Spring Boot projects, Bootstrap, HTML, CSS, React, Django, Java, anything you want and it's there. I used it to learn web development in just two to three weeks and I guarantee you, you can easily learn all the concepts in just one week with the help of educative.io. Add a little bit of LLM and AI to stand out from the crowd. And I have a few projects on my channel as well. Definitely check them out. Week 12 is all about behavioral prep for Google. Google checks its Googliness of each of its employees. That is teamwork, leadership, and adaptability. They'll give you situations and you need to answer them based on star rule. That is situation, task, action, and result. You can check on interview bit for a few common examples. And this is a good playlist for preparing for HR interviews. You might feel it's not important, but I know people who have been rejected because of their lack of Googliness in this round. Now comes the last few days. It's all about revision and go polishing your resume and going through all the DSA playlists online to see that you're not missing any concepts. I know this is crazy, but you can use this NodeGPT tool to chat with each video and to have a transcript, have a summary to ensure that you're not missing any concept from each of the videos because it's impossible to watch so many videos in such a less time. They also have the AI voice designer feature, which will help you to practice for mock interviews for the interview. That's it. All the best for a Google interview and let's see you at Google.